Hey my sexy girls, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all of my favourite It Girl products. I'm talking body, skin, hygiene, fragrance, a bit of makeup, hair, you name it. The kind of products I could confidently recommend to my best friend and be like, babe, you need this and you won't regret it. All the products that just make me feel like that girl. But I do need to give a disclaimer that you don't necessarily need loads of products to be an it girl. It's just a silly trend. Like, take it lighthearted. I don't want to make anyone feel bad or like they have to spend loads of money. This is just some recommendations. I like because I love all things beauty. So let's just get into it. <laughs> actually gonna start with body care because I feel like that's an area that a lot of us forget about or we don't pay much attention but for me it is everything smelling good and feeling like my skin is like clean hydrated like, actually elevates how you feel about yourself so much all my friends always say I smell nice and I've even had dates where I forgot to wear perfume and guys are like wow you smell amazing it's because the body care babes don't scrimp on it. If anything, it's going to last longer than perfume. With that said, the first product I want to introduce you to is Lush Sticky Dates Shower Gel. Oh! Okay, I was not fussed about shower gels or anything you wash your body with until I smelt this bad boy. I heard loads of people talking about it on TikTok saying if you like vanilla perfumes, you'll like this. And I was like, surely, surely it can't be that good. If you go into Lush and just sniff this, you will be transported to a world of like toffee caramel dreams. I hate dates. I think dates are disgusting, but this oh, it just makes your whole body smell insane. I only got a small one because I wanted to try it out, but I'm definitely going to get a bigger one after this because it is dreamy. And the shower routine is not stopping there. This product, Latin Care Shaving Gel from Olay. It's got a vanilla scent. As you can tell, I'm a vanilla girly. You're going to hear me talk about vanilla so much. I just think it's the sexiest, most warm fragrance a woman could wear. It's just gorgeous. I've never used a shaving foam. Like, I always thought it was a bit gimmicky. And I just didn't see the point. I could just use shower gel or soap. Then I used this. And I was like, okay, I get it now. I get why everyone says it. Like, my legs have never been as silky smooth as when I use this. It comes out like a gel. And then, look. It lavers up into like a nice foam all across your legs then use it with the Venus razor because it's for dry skin it just feels incredible on your legs oh and it smells so good I don't know why I did that I need to wash my hands then we have to discuss razors I honestly have only used Venus razors I don't even know for how long like probably five plus years I think they're so so good because they have five blades and like comfort strip cushion it's like a good angle to shave your legs and I love that it's like you can click them off like this so when you're done with the head you just have to replace it you can get the different types I think it's more sustainable and cheaper that way this is the rose gold deluxe sensitive I used to get so many like bumps razor rashes especially in the summer because I have to shave so much girls who have dark hair know the little prickly black hairs come through within like three days I was shaving so much and getting rashes when I use Venus I don't get it. Like, no cap, straight facts. Get a good razor in your life. Like, get a good razor, invest, and then just buy the refillable heads. You will not regret it. Also, from Venus, I've spoke about this so many times, but I need to reiterate. If you are someone who shaves your pubic hair, again, I don't shame anyone. You do you. I don't shave that often. Like, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't go swimming that often. Why do I need to shave? Like, it's just a hassle. But when I do, I always use the Venus for pubic hair and skin range. This is the two-in-one cleanser and shave gel. This is actually clear, which I think is better for your vagina because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm like, am I going to cut myself? Like, it's a bit scary. Also, it's pH balanced, so it's not going to irritate you. Obviously, we know that that skin is super sensitive. Then I actually, then I do have a different razor for that. I know you might say, oh, it's too many things. That's dramatic. Venus for pubic hair and skin changed how I shave. Like, it's actually, like, easy now. It really gets in there. It only has two blades, so it doesn't, like, cut you. And I just take it on holiday with me, and I can just shave every few days, and it doesn't irritate. Like, it's... You need this, girls. You need this. Then we're out the shower, and I obviously adore body moisturizer. I don't know why. It just... You just feel so luxurious after doing it. I do it more in the summer because it's not cold in my room when I get out of the shower. My favorite ever one is Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright. I've only got a little one because I get through these quick. Look. No. I, I wish you could smell this. I think it's the best one. Like, I've had the yellow one. I've had the pink one. This is the best 
flavor and this one says it's brightening i didn't believe it i was like how could a cream be brightening put this on one of your legs and then look at the difference honestly one leg will be like healthy and like glowy whereas the other leg will be like dry and crusty like i can't explain like it really like makes your skin look brighter i don't know what science is in it i know it has like ahas sun shock is black amber plum and vanilla woods Amber Plum is in a lot of my favourite perfumes. I do like to use things that all have the same scent family. So I know people are like, why are you using so many different scents? I'm not. They all kind of link together and then put them all on and it creates your own unique scent. I just think it's sexier that way and it lasts longer. So yeah, Sol de Janeiro. I know it's expensive, but it's 1010. That's everything I wanted to show you body care wise. So now we're going to move on to fragrance because I feel like it's the next logical step we've got out the shower now we're doing some spritzing sometimes i wish i wasn't such a basic bitch but i just cannot seem to find a perfume that is better than ariana grande cloud it is the go i know every single person smells like it now but it's popular for a reason because it's just so damn good look i barely have any left and i've rebought it three times it's the main perfume that i rebuy like i don't feel like me when i don't have this everyone knows i smell of this just this sexy Vanilla-y, like musky plum. <sighs> this stays as well. This will linger on your clothes. I put it on a jumper and then I put the jumper back. Don't lie, you all do it. I'm not washing a hoodie after I've worn it once. It will smell on my clothes until I wash it. Like it's that strong. People always comment on it. I know a perfume's good if someone compliments me on it. For some reason, it makes men feral. If you want a guy to remember you, wear Aranagonda Cloud. It is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. One day, I'll be rich enough to be able to just drop $2.50 on a perfume. But for now, I'm just going to spend my little £45 on this. I mean, if you want to be a little bit different, you could get the pink one. You could get the pink one. I think the packaging is just so sweet. It has the same, like, note family as normal Cloud, but it smells just, like, pink. Like, it smells girly, it's got a bit more floral, it's more like everyday girls bottomless brunch, maybe more of a summer spring it girl fragrance. I still prefer the normal cloud but this one is really good but you can see I haven't used it like anywhere near as much. I have branched out a little bit of my fragrances because this I would say is like my nighttime one now. It's Versace Crystal it's Versace Crystal Noir. I love the bottle. I think that just looks so like cute on my desk. This is a lot deeper and sophisticated and sexier. Mm, it's more like oriental floral but with musk underneath. Still super sexy and feminine but this one's giving more like bad bitch in her dark feminine era like doesn't take shit from anyone. So if you want to feel like confident I would say this is a good fragrance for you. And finally, it wouldn't be a fragrance segment if I didn't mention these little fragrance mists, would it? I'm so surprised Sol de Janeiro haven't sponsored any of my videos yet because I'm their number one fan and like they won't notice me and it's just sad, okay? It's just sad. But I would say these two are my most used for every day. This one especially is like a holiday, 62. But this is my favourite, the Churosa 40, which smells exactly like Bombardier Bright. You know, it's got the vanilla and the plum. It layers perfectly with cloud just throughout the day when you want a little bit more of a spruce up and they last surprisingly long, you know, like I've had these out for ages. Now we're going to move on to makeup. I'm going to try and keep it brief. Obviously, I love so many different makeup products, but these are like my absolute go-tos it girl. Like if they got stolen or I lost them, I would rebuy instantly kind of thing. Starting with primer, the e.l.f. Power Grip. Look how much I've used already and I've already got through two. I love this. It feels kind of like sticky glue and it just keeps your makeup on all day and night like if i don't use it my makeup just slips slides off my face and it's really affordable too also from elf we have the halo glow liquid filter obviously it's a dupe for charlotte tilbury but it just gives your skin such a subtle healthy look it's got a little bit of coverage but not too much so it's perfect for like holidays perfect for wearing underneath foundation on a night out i actually just switched to wearing this every day on its own with a bit of concealer for extra coverage and i just don't feel like i want to go back to full foundations after using this nothing compares again really really affordable i wear shade free light medium i recently started using the kosas concealer it's been hyped up so bloody much and i feel like for good reason it just moves out under eyes really brightens your face it stays per all day and it's lightweight enough so it doesn't feel cakey but it also covers like it just 
it's everything you would want a concealer to do obviously it is a little bit pricier but i feel a little goes a long way so one will last you for ages for blush the pixie on the glow stick genuinely 10 out of 10 i have this shade ruby which you think would be too much but it actually just gives this really beautiful sheer color that stays on a lot of cream blushes come off me but this one i find gives like a healthy look but with enough pigment and it also layers really nice underneath powders sometimes i put the powders on other creams and it goes all patchy but this does the most and they have loads of colors the powders i am a baking powder girl and this loose powder from primark i think it's genuinely like three pounds unbelievable unbelievable how flawless you get i just pack it in with like a little powder puff and you just get this really nice baked look but it's not too matte brightens everything up but it's not looking cakey or taken away from a glow do you know what i mean and yeah i just i love a little cheap bargain find my favorite mascara for a while now has been max factor 2000 calorie it just makes them really long and fluttery i don't usually love a plasticky brush but this one is like curved grabs everyone fans it out so not only do you get like long structured lashes they also have volume i don't know whenever i use another one now i'm like i regret it i'm like oh i wish use the max factor one <laughs> No matter how many lip liners I use, nothing can ever be better than MAC Well. Like, nothing. Nothing. It's just the perfect, your lip colour but better. It's got a little bit of a pinky tone. Pencil that genuinely just lasts forever. It never runs out. It's creamy enough to overline your lips. It stays all day. It goes with so many colours as well, like pink nude, orangey nudes, browns. Like It just is very versatile and I will cry myself to sleep at night if they ever discontinue it. <laughs> Whenever you see me wearing a lip colour, it will definitely start with well. My two favourite lip products at the moment are the Max Factor Lip Glazes. I have Caramel Swish on today. It's just like a creamy pigmented lip glaze. It's not sticky, stays on, like it's a really nice big one too look at that you just get like a nice mm, coating they smell really good too i've seen them all over tiktok and yeah i just really love them my two favorite colors are caramel swish and this pink fizz if you prefer like a pink rosy look and then also the elf glow reviver lip oils they have so many colors it doesn't give as clear a pigment it's more like a natural look something that you'd want to wear on holiday it feels really moisturizing on your lips my two faves are pink quartz and honey talks this one's more of like a brown nudie and this one's like a glowy red pink eyeshadow wise i don't know why this naked mini sin palette just has me in a chokehold like i just can't stop wearing it just these really nice natural sort of pinky tones but i find when i'm traveling if i just pack this in my bag i don't actually need to take any other shadows because it has like a crease color a liner color a lid color and an inner corner highlight and I don't need to complicate things by taking a huge palette. So yeah, I always just have that in my makeup bag. I really, really like it. That's everything I can immediately think of for makeup. Let me know if you've tried any of these. And we're going to move it swiftly on to hair care. I don't know if you saw recently, but I actually box dyed my hair into this really nice dark brown, almost black color. And it's lasting really, really well. It still feels really healthy. And I used the Clarol Deep Mocha Brown color nice and easy it was very easy to do it went a little bit darker than i expected but i was just being dumb because obviously if you dye dark brown on dark brown it's gonna literally go black but yeah it's definitely my favorite box dye i've used so far the shampoo and conditioner i've been loving these growth bomb ones i'm always someone that's trying to keep my hair healthy and grow it long and this targets it at the scalp so it keeps your scalp healthy to try and like boost new hair growth whilst also keeping the hair that you have in good condition it smells really nice Mm, kind of like oranges like it smells like vitamin c and the conditioner is like moisturizing the end so yeah i've been really liking this and i don't think it's too expensive then i use the glazy plex maybe like once a week it's a bond repair treatment which honestly just makes your hair so shiny so healthy it makes it look in such good condition and you only need to leave it on for four minutes sometimes if i'm like in the bath and having like a big pamper day i will leave it on for a lot longer bond repair treatments are really good for people who use a lot of heat on their hair like chemical damage from dyeing anything like that it's good to be using like an extra treatment just to like replenish the health add the moisture back into your hair these are just some styling bits i've been using at the moment i got this heat protectant mist to try from hot toddy and i just really like how it sprays it's so much better than the you know the ones that spritz out like it's like you're not protecting my whole hair because it's not spritzing where i need whereas this let me just show you quickly it's like a fine mist so you can get it all over 
smells really good. Protects hair from heat styling up to 450 Fahrenheit or 232 Celsius, which is really good. This is really, really damn good. I'm someone that heats my hair a lot, so I just need to make sure I'm protecting it. Then I have this dry shampoo from Colab. Really pretty bottle. I get the greasiest hair ever. Like, why? Like, day two, my hair's already greasy. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Obviously, I try and push through, but how I do that is using a dry shampoo. It has vitamin E. It doesn't leave, like, a white residue. Like, genuinely, I've sprayed it and forgotten about it. I didn't rub it in and it was fine. Like, it didn't look white. You can just, like, brush it through and straight away all the, like, grease is gone. It looks like fresh hair. I will be real with you. My favourite one is the volume one. Um, this is just the original. I've run out of the volume. I need to buy it again. But if you're deciding between the two, definitely get the volume one if you've got flat hair like me. Like, you brush it and your hair just looks, like, really volume and, like, clean it's actually amazing like i don't know what the science is but it's so so good and finally i have the living proof for volume and root lifting spray i love any volumizing products because i get really flat hair and i prefer bigger hair you only need a few spritzes of this like in the root and i was actually like what like when i blue dry it with a big brush and then like put rollers in or when i curl it like it looks so much bigger and i was like oh it's way better than any of the other volumizing products I've used so far. Like, I know it's on the pricier side, but you barely spray any of it. So it's going to last you actually a really long time. Sometimes when things are expensive, I think of it like that. Like, it's... I'm not going to need a lot. Finally, I'm going to finish off by talking about my favorite skincare. If you've got to this point, thank you so much because I know I chat a lot of shit, but I just get really passionate about like the products I use and things that I think are worth the money because I think there's just so much information going out. I like it when there's things you actually find that you're like, no, 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 that was worth it, you know? Okay, starting with cleansers. Sorry, mine is so gross. I've been using the Clinique Take the Day Off. It's like a balm. I think the cleansing balms are way better than any form of makeup remover I've tried to use. Obviously, if I'm feeling lazy, I will just use micellar water. But going in with this, it just instantly melts all the makeup off, mascara, everything, and your skin feels so nice and clean. It's good for sensitive skin, like doesn't irritate you. Unique is allergy tested, so if you're anyone that flares up, this would be a good option for you. The only annoying thing is you just have to keep like washing your cloths, especially because I wear so much makeup, like it just gets tiring. Next, this looks like a little bar of soap, but it's the Kiehl's Bar Cleanser. I know, I know, it's cool, right? I like this because it is so lightweight. So whether I use my cellar water or cleansing balm to take my makeup off, I will wash with this. Why you should use two and double cleanse is because the first bit gets the makeup actually off your skin. This actually cleans inside your, like, epidermis is that i'm not a scientist i'm not a dermatologist i don't know but i think it's like yeah it cleans actually inside your skin so many times i thought i've had such a good clean i'll do this and use my cloth and there's still so much makeup and i'm like whoa like you know this gives the deep clean without it irritating your skin it doesn't feel tight or like sensitive after it feels like juicy and plump and just fresh when i was using this like religiously my skin really cleared up a lot i'm in my skincare era for real and believe it or not this is not sponsored by pharmacy okay <laughs> they sent me a little travel size set of their products and ever since then i've been like guys you need to get on this front it's so beautiful so the first thing i use is the deep sweep toner it's a two percent bha pore cleaning one i don't get on with toners that often because they make my skin react make me break out or feel too harsh this just feels so lightweight cleans your skin it tightens your pores it stops me having so much oil i literally just use it once in the morning and it just has made my skin look and feel amazing then i use the honey halo moisturizer can you tell how much I love this? I completely used it all. What unreal packaging though. I have the smaller one which I took traveling and even that's nearly run out so I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm actually like genuinely this stuff is a dream. Described as an intense moisturizer that replenishes dry skin. Ceramides and honey help to protect the moisture barrier. The skin's barrier helps with everything. It helps with texture, it helps with breakouts, it helps you look fresh and glowy. It's just a gorgeous moisturizer and I, I don't want to use another one. Like, I genuinely do not. Like, I love, this is my thing. <laughs> I have so many of their products, you don't understand. I want to get to the point that all my skincare is pharmacy. These are really good. The little lip smoothies look. Mm, it smells like apple and it has vitamin C. You can wear it at night, in the morning, in the day. And it just gives this really nice, like, coated. It's almost like a mask, but it gives a glossy shine that you could literally use it as, like, 
a lip gloss if you wanted to very premium it's just taking lip balm to the next level love it they have a honey one too i want to try the honey one at night i do actually use kills kills is another one that i really really do love really good for people with sensitive skin this is the retinol skin renewing microdose serum i started introducing retinol because i'm 28 so like i don't want to get fine lines okay it's like a daily strength one you can use it because retinol can be a bit intense sometimes as we all know helps with the skin's surface and retexturizing it gives you like a firmer look and reduce any wrinkles so i like put it all over my forehead at night just does everything you want an anti-aging product to do but it doesn't feel harsh and i love that and then make sure you wear an spf i know it's the winter i know it's gray i mean the sun has come out today thank you very much but the sun is the thing that ages our skin the most we do need to make sure we're at least wearing facial spf on our face and necks to stay youthful looking and also prevent the harmful damages of the sun this this SPF is the best one in the world. It's the best one in the world. The ultraviolet cream screen, face sunscreen. It is like, I don't even want to waste it because I love it that much. It's an Australian brand. Can you see? It's got like a little bit of colour in it so it doesn't give you a white cast. It feels like so nourishing. And I feel it's almost like a makeup product. Like it gives you like a lovely, healthy glow. Your makeup doesn't peel. I've just never used one that feels this nice before. And I've used a lot. This was my go-to on holiday. And a few times I forgot to wear it my face burnt so it definitely was doing bits <gasps> okay guys that was my spring favorites it girl products things that make me feel like amazing 10 out of 10 products i would rebuy thank you so much for watching let me know if this gave you any inspo and always remember that the glow up and the confidence comes from within of course products can give us a little bit of a help in hand but no product is gonna completely change your life and change your mindset that has to come from you doing the work i know it sounds contradictory i will leave links to everything if you want to get anything but i also don't want you to feel pressured to buy things or feeling like you're not good enough because you don't have all these products that other girls have like i am just a bit obsessive with it i definitely don't need all these things it's probably bad for my shopping addiction okay you can probably get a similar look with lots of other products but these are just the things that I love, okay? Love you. Thanks so much for watching.